Uh, good evening, everyone. This is the December 13, 2017 meeting of the Urban Conservation Commission. Richard, are we live or are we being, we are live and we also are being recorded and uh, our meeting can be viewed on the town website, auburnguide.com. Before we begin, uh, I have to ask if anyone in the audience is recording this meeting. Okay, people shaking their heads. Uh, the first item on today's agenda, tonight's agenda, is a seven o'clock public hearing Eastland Partners, Inc. request to amend in order of conditions for property or a project located on Blaker Street in Auburn. Is there a motion open? So moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. And there, is there anyone here from Eastland Partners? Apparently not. So anyway, we actually toured the site. Um, you may recall from our last meeting in November that the applicant had <coughs> was proposing to amend the order conditions to relocate the um, basically the road and cul de sac. <coughs> um, the um, the change in the um, in the plan would have no impact on um, on wetlands on um, on wetland mitigation or uh, or erosion control measures. Um, so I mean I thought based on our review of that uh, of the of what they were proposing that it seemed um, to be, it would be appropriate for us to approve the uh, the amendment of the order conditions. Did they tell us they were not coming tonight? We don't know. I don't know, I've got full agendas for everything and I'm... All right. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we um, continue this matter? Okay. I mean, when I say continue, I mean continue it, um, see if they if they come. If yeah. not, then we can decide what we want to do at the end of the meeting. That sounds Is good. Is that agreeable? Yes, yeah, sounds good. Okay. okay. All right. Um, okay. Since we now have some a block of time, uh, I thought maybe we could review the uh, the meeting minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, did we did we approve the meeting minutes for September twenty fifth? September 27th? Yeah. Yes. That's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was at the last meeting. All right. So, um, Sheila, I did have an opportunity to look through the minutes you um, um, prepared for the meeting of October 11th. Yeah. Um, I have some changes. Not okay. many. Okay. Let me see what I've got here. <clears throat> Which one are you going to call? Mm -hmm. I have two. Which one are you going to call? 27? Uh, for me, yeah. Uh, October 11th. I have two October 11th. Oh, wonderful. Sure. Thank you. Okay, so the first change I um, wanted to make was for the 720 public hearing for SWEB development. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, to, it's the third line from the bottom of that paragraph where you wrote, it begins a maintenance schedule. Yep. You see that? Halfway through the line. So I thought it would flow better if uh, it said, cross out the A, uh, capitalize the M of maintenance, and so it would read, maintenance will be performed a few times a year. Sounds good. Do you know? I'm not seeing it here. 720, pu uh, 720 public Half hearing for SWEB development. Turn the page. 720. Oh, sorry, that's not. Mine's on this page. Right here. Um, 720, you're looking up to 11? Yeah. It's almost at the end. It's, it's actually, it's right here. It's right here. Oh, okay. So what did you want me to change it to, Michael? Cross out A. Yeah. Capitalize M and maintenance. Yeah. Cross out schedule. So then it reads maintenance will be, and then insert performed. Okay. The next one is under um, uh, issuances under Fort Packard Avenue. Yeah. Uh, the last sentence, you you wrote a determination of applicability was signed. If you would insert a negative, just negative okay. determination of applicability. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then for 31 Sword Street, um, you wrote, you put in owner Martin Reisner for an enforcement order. Uh, I put in crust out for and inserted was served with an enforcement order. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> And other than that, I had no other changes. Mm 
Does anyone else have any changes? I know. Okay, is there a motion? I have a motion that we accept the meeting, uh, amended meetings on uh, October 11th. Okay. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then for the meeting minutes of October 25th? I also had a few chances, but not many. We have another scene. have that one either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ran one, one up at home and I had a copy too. They're probably sitting on my desk. Okay. If, uh, it's at 7 p.m. Uh, public hearing for web development. Mm -hmm. It would be about halfway down. The, sense, the paragraph, well, that portion starts where the trucks will be entering the, near the wetland. Do you see that, Sheila? I'll find it in one second. Okay. That's what the paragraph says. <clears throat> halfway down. About halfway down. Where the trucks. Oh, where the trucks, yeah. Okay, yeah. the next sentence you put in, the storage of flammables will be stored in approved storage containers. Yeah. A lot of use of the word storage. And so I thought it would uh, read better if you cross out the storage of. Okay. And then capitalize the F in flammables. Okay. So it reads now flammables will be stored in approved storage containers. Right, sounds well. much better. Mm -hmm. As well. Just flammables. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Two lines above that. <clears throat> it, it begins with conducted with Nate. Yeah. You, so it, you have uh, Nate of and from. also Nate from. <laughs> so I thought it would uh, uh, cross out of. Okay. And I should have put his last name in there. Uh, it, well, I guess we'll find out some other time. Um, next page under Pinrock Road. Uh, second line, beginning with the word road. Pin 25 Pinrock Road. Mm. Trust me, it's that. Mm -hmm. You don't have it on yours? Yes, you do. 25 Pinrock Road. Sure. <laughs> Chris is printed out way different, that's okay. why it's not right. the same. Uh, the one right before the issuances. I'm seeing on mine. Seeing on mine. <laughs> it goes right from this to issuances. Well, you take this one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Here's two of this one. All right. Okay. Right before the issuances. All right, yeah. Okay. okay. So, so, for 25 Pembroke Road. Uh -huh. uh, it's the beginning of the, se the second sentence. It starts road. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, cross out and. Okay. Um, uh, two lines down from there. Mm -hmm. Cross out the word from. And then the next sentence, cross out B and put in at is. I know these are minor details. Yeah. If, I'm better than Dan Reich. I was going to say, where's <laughs> Dan? Dan is in Vermont. Um, He's getting plenty of snow, too. Does anyone have any changes? Okay. Is there being none? Is there a motion? I move that we accept the minutes for October, the amended minutes for October 25th. I'll second that. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Okay. And Shelley, you weren't able to do the minutes for November 15, right? I've got them probably three quarters of the way down. It's fine. It's okay. No All right. And we still have some time. Uh, <clears throat> I thought I would let people know about uh, 17 Hilltop Road. Mm -hmm. Sheila? Yes. So. <clears throat> Um, we have a request for um, a certificate of compliance for 17 Hilltop Farm Road. And this was um, an old project, 2005. Hi. And so um, we had uh, communication with uh, Ms. Bradley, who's the owner of the property. I also had an opportunity to speak to her attorney. She's in the process of, uh, of selling the home. Uh, we found the order of conditions, and um, I, one of the requirements was an as built plan. And so, um, uh, you know, Ms. Bradley was trying to scramble to find someone that could do an as-built uh, for tonight's meeting. Apparently, she was unable to. 
And so it's my understanding that that matter is going to be continued to uh, our January 10th meeting. Correct. Okay. until 720 we've done the meeting minutes um, actually let's go on the record uh, the next item on tonight's agenda is the 710 public hearing uh, LSS MA farms LLC request for determinations of applicability for lots three four and five and notice of intent for lots one and two for the installation of, com of a commercial solar collection facility um, on Leicester Street is there a motion open so be it Please open. Thank you. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Oppose the vote. Aye. So we have received um, a request from the applicant to continue the public hearing for these uh, five lots uh, to our January 10th, um, 2018 meeting. Apparently there are issues with uh, the planning board. I also noticed that the DEP uh, filing, the DEP also had some comments and concerns, I think, about the ground cover. Yeah. yeah. So, um, what time would we uh, put that on for on January 10th, Sheila? Um, I would just say 7. 7 o'clock? Yeah. 7. Okay. No filing yet. Okay. Is there a motion then to continue to January 10th of 2018 at 7 p.m.? I make a motion to continue the applicant LSS MA funds. Uh, to January 10th at 7 p.m. And also the notice of intent. And notice of intent. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. Okay. So. The, was there a problem with the planning board was added or something that they needed? I, I, there was some with the peer review. Do we know something? Okay. I didn't see the meeting, so Do I can't say. Do with them splitting up the parcels? I don't know. No, I thought there was, uh, yeah, there was some concern about not having any furniture for those lots. Right, so having really skinny. Line. Yeah, but I mean, there was no road furniture for each right. of those lots because right. they were in the back and they just chopped, yeah. cut out of that mm -hmm. one parcel and don't have any furniture. We we walked that property and mm -hmm. uh, it's um, it's a challenging site. It's yeah. very rugged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, well, we'll see what the planning board does, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have anything um, again until 7.20, so is there a motion to recess briefly? I'll make a motion that we recess briefly. Until, until 7.20? 7 is there a second? A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Vote. We are in recess until 7.20 p.m. Okay. Yeah.
<clears throat> is there a motion to come out of recess? I move to do come out of recess. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. All right, we are back in business, folks. Next item on tonight's agenda is 720 public hearing. Marty Reisner, Auburn Industrial Development Corporation, a notice of intent for new stormwater management and repaving of parking lots on property located at 31 and 33 Sword Streets in Auburn. Is there a motion open? I make a motion. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It's a vote. Okay. I'm Mark Arnold with Goddard Consulting here on behalf of uh, Auburn Industrial Group uh, for the project here at 31 and 33 Sword Street. Good evening. Evening. So the last uh, public hearing that was held for this project, um, there were the commission had requested to do a site walk um, to review the site and see what the site conditions were and that site work was conducted and uh, if there were any concerns um, after that site work was conducted on the exact proposed work. Uh, at that meeting, um, the commission also had to continue because a DEP file number had not been issued at that time, so the right. conditions could not be issued. Uh, since that time, DEP has issued a file number, um, and they also did provide some some comments um, on that. So one of the comments, I'm just going to walk through everything that they discussed, is basically they, they uh, asked, um, there was a question about the, it, it, was there an increase in impervious services on the site? Um, so there is not an increase in impervious services on the site. Based, the, uh, the project took the existing uh, concrete pads that were in this area here, removed them and added a small section of asphalt to the bottom basically just to square off the back section of the parking lot. Mm -hmm. So there's no increase in impervious services on the site. Um, the other question was, um, I mean, what, and so that is the, uh, the main question which is um, whether or not we really are triggering stormwater standards. Right. Um, so we're not increasing impervious on the site. Uh, the site has extremely low grades. It's very flat. There's little to no head um, for any type of drainage structures of any kind. You know, I mean, this catch basin here has a small two-foot sump, and there's a very little pitch from that catch basin to where the head wall is. Um, so DEP's uh, comments are related to um, the treatment of total suspended solids, um, and that's usually done in structures. Um, because the site has the grades that it has, there's no real ability to actually do that. Um, the DP's comments are basically uh, focused on the wellhead protection mm -hmm. and the question of infiltration of, of stormwater um, prior to, after treatment, and if treat is treatment being provided up to 44%. Um, we had um, Nick um, Fis Fessendola Fess 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 from Level Design Group um, reviewed the stormwater standards again for the project um, because uh, he understands the whole stormwater system. He also prepared a stormwater management plan, which I have with me tonight, which deals with all the maintenance. So he looked at all, and so there's, 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 the current project proposes to basically, to, we're directing all the runoff into a detention basin, which there's no detention on the site, there's no infiltration on the site, there's no treatment at, at all. It all just came right down to the buffer zone mm -hmm. and then went through. Um, our proposal at least provides some detention and some control for sediment in the, in the form of riprap around the basin. So, uh, I mean, from our, our perspective, we believe that is the best that we can do on this site. Um, the other possibility would be just to do a, a swale that, that circumnavigates the basin and goes directly into the buffer zone, mm -hmm. um, which is something we looked at. The problem with that is we'd have to go further into the buffer zone to get a grade to work for the swale, which means we'd have to expand our limit of work. We'd have to go into the forested buffer zone, which is, um, has lots of native trees, um, which we'd prefer not to disturb. Um, so we, do, we did look at that, um, but we consider that DEP's comments are basically, I mean, in a sense of, is, was there an increase in purposes? No, there's not. And we feel that this is the best improvement that you can really get for the site, um, considering the grades, that we can't get any type of um, treatment through structures. Then can I make a suggestion to you? Um, can you address, um, I, and I, your, your yep. points are well taken, can you put that um, in the form of a written response to the comments from DEP? We can. Okay. Can provide that. Uh, I would. I think for the file. I think we would like to have that for the file. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, <clears throat> we did tour the site. Um, you know, we noted the um, uh, the work that was done to um, remove um, uh, the infiltration into the wetland area. 
uh, we saw that the um, we didn't. I think we noticed that <clears throat> one of the sill fences uh, uh, had collapsed and needed to be reestablished. Yeah, that so was yeah. probably that was we probably went out there maybe two or three weeks ago. Yes, that's all been that's all been repaired because they've been out there and they right. they they pulled up the sill. Doing the repairs yeah. that day actually. Yeah. So <clears throat> you know, based on um, you know what we saw, I mean, it looks like everything is uh, is in order. Uh, so I think again, the only issue I would have is just a written response to the, the issues or comments uh, uh, made by DEP. Okay. I have a couple of questions actually. Yes. Um, when I was there, I asked about protecting, you know, sort of the entire length of mm -hmm. the parking lot yep. because the yeah, plants did not take, the seed did not seem to take. Um, it was very exposed. So we were talking about just better protection. Um, Are you talking about protection for the was a result of the enforcement order not okay. to do with this, really. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the sense. I mean, we do we did plant them very late in the season, yeah. so you would expect the plants to go dormant. Um, and so there is possibility that, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's always a risk when you do plantings that there's right. there some mortality. Well, you mentioned that it, they were going to come back in the spring. Yes. And seed and replant. Yes. Is any of that in That's That's part, I mean, I believe that was part of the restoration plan that was submitted to us to the mission that there's two years, there's two years of monitoring by okay. wetland scientists to monitor the plants and the vegetative cover. <coughs> and do you know if that silt fence got installed across the parking lot? Um, I, I, I believe it did because they were, yes. they were back, okay. they were, they, they, they've been there right. to touch everything else. Yeah, I mean the, the plants just look like they were totally flooded and yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it is a very wet wetland. You notice, I mean, in the wetland itself, it's a button bush, right? Which is complicated, <coughs> mainly in flooded areas. Which is why this is so. going to help deal, at least in some part. Um, I was also kind of wondering about the riprap that goes straight into the wetland. Yep. Is there any way to slow that down a little more? So I mean, the riprap. I mean, the riprap is is the best thing you can put there to slow the water down from the headwall. Um, I mean, any water, the water, I mean, the once, once when the water enters the culvert, it's going to accelerate in velocity. Right. So that, that's the purpose of the riprap swell is to actually slow the water down at all. Um, so basically, so that when it, when, it, that when it leaves the buffer zone, the water is not moving. Right. But and it's therefore, not, not creating turbidity. Filtered or treated. No, this, well, it's, well, the, the only treatment you have is, is, the, is the catch basin. And um, our, our operation and maintenance plan, we do want to, we do want to put a hood on this, the outlet pipe of the catch basin, which currently doesn't have a hood. So that will provide, so now we'll have a sump and a hood, which will um, trap any type of, of floating solids from getting into the wetland as well, which currently doesn't occur. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, how long will it take you to get us some water? I can get it to you right tomorrow. Okay. Um, I, mean, it, it, I mean, I think, I mean, in a sense, I mean, I, because it's information that's going to have to be submitted, you couldn't close the hearing tonight, but I mean, if if the commission could draft the order of conditions so that it could be voted and issued in, at the next hearing, as long as our information is submitted prior to, um, we would appreciate it. I think we can figure something out. Okay. All right, so why don't we do this? Uh, and again, I appreciate your, your patience with this. Um, why don't we uh, do this? The only thing uh, I think preventing us from issuing the order of conditions is receipt of the letter. Yep. So I would propose that we actually continue the public hearing until January 10th, 7-10, um, 7 10, and then, um, and I will say this to you, if we have the letter, um, or you get the letter to yeah. us before January 10th, yeah. you don't have to appear, yeah. call the public hearing, and then we'll take action. Yeah. Okay? What about signing it tonight? I hold it until we get the letter, mm -hmm. and then I'll send it to you. You can review it. I mean, I'm. I, I we can't. I won't. I'm. I'm not comfortable doing that. Okay. Um, but I think again, we know what the project is. Um, it's been well documented. I think we can act on it. Clearly, act on it that night. We can issue it. You can issue it the next day. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll have it all typed up. Yeah, so these are two copies. So basically, I mean, okay. it's standard operation made by about basically where the snow plowing is supposed to be put, which is basically on the edges of paved areas, not in the wetlands, mm -hmm. uh, maintenance of catch basin, sump, how much sediment is supposed to be in the sump. Um, basically, you're not supposed to have it. The sump is supposed to be less than 50% full, otherwise it has to be cleaned. Right. Um, our maintenance of the basin, how much sediment is there, um, removing of the sediment down to the filter fabric so the filter fabric is clean, making sure the filter fabric is there and actually in good condition. Yep, it's all it's yeah, it's um it's all in the operation maintenance. I mean, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can.
I do have other copies. So we can incorporate those on this reference. Okay. Yep, exactly. I would I would recommend you cite it. We will. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Do you like my Allison? So before we uh, close the public, not close the public, and continue the matter, yeah. is there any comments from the audience? Mr. Reisner, any comments? Okay. All right. In that case, um, is there a motion? Sorry. A motion to continue? To continue until January 10th at 710. Motion on 10. Correct. I second. All right. Is there any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. All right. Thank you for coming in. We'll see you uh, in a few weeks. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you. Mark, if you wanted to email me, is that okay to get an email letter? Uh, email would be fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll email it to you, Mark. Okay. All righty. <coughs> Okay. The next matter on our. Can we not put this? I think it's just so cold. That's why I wore a sweater. Um, That's why I have a sweater. The, ne the next matter on our agenda is 7-3 public hearing, Mass and Family LLC, request for determination of applicability for the demolition of three single family homes on property located at 2428 and 35th Avenue here in Auburn. Is there a motion open? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. I'll second. Okay, you need to be concise, and I need to hear you. So, Allison, did you make the motion? I made the motion to open. All right. Second. I second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Be loud. Be okay. loud. Aye. It's a vote. Okay. Mr. Kravosky, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir, Mr. Glad Godwin. You made Thank it. you, Conservation Commission. We did, uh, in the meantime, since our inspection of the site, we did uh, get the surveyors out there to pick up the wetland flag, show the building, show the topo, show the entrenched silk fence line on the plan, 25 feet from your wetland, mm -hmm. from the resource area, if, if you all agree with it. I do have some legislized plans, and and I do have uh, a couple of uh, two-by-threes. And here comes some legend. Today, and again, I just received this yesterday. We're, because of the tight nature of surveyors, it took us a while to get them uh, out there, but I beg your, uh, your patience on that, if you can. Thank you. Um, Karen, thank you. Thank you very much, sure. Mr. Garland. Thank you. Thank you. And mm -hmm. there was two of butters. It was the, mm -hmm. the Ford dealership and the Baptist Church. Yep. yep and we are, we're not proposing to do any other work than to remove the three structures. Allen and Majors, the people that did the parking area in for the Diamond Cadillac, which you might recall when we were in front of you for the Cadillac dealership to take down a building. They're doing the stormwater, performing the stormwater and the uh, design of the parking area, keeping in mind, obviously, all your reg the zoning regulations and your bylaw regulations of the wellness to ensure that we're not, obviously, exceeding the amount of impervious per watt. And, and I know that there was a question by Mr. Garland about uh, the whole thing as being a parking lot. Clearly it's not, it'll be what, at least we'll design it to what the regs are and then we'll be hearing from you uh, on whether or not, uh, you know, you grant an order of conditions for it. Mm -hmm. but, but it will be fully stormwater. And uh, there's the buildings in there and we'll, we'll leave the foundations at the time. We, we do have the pavement areas and the buildings areas for the impervious on the plan and this is a new company we've been using they're down in fall river and they're up in this area just expanding uh, uh, existing grades they have a home base out of douglas mass so you might be seeing more of their plans also what's the utility the easement in the middle well that'll be answered by majors it, it might have been originally an access but it doesn't cross the swamp there's nothing crossing that well as far as utilities uh, but historically that the 
that might be something again for them to take up and whether or not they can dissolve the utility that'll that's more the engineers and not myself I'm only here for uh, that wetland line and for the buildings but we'll answer that at your next meeting uh, when we do come back in front of you I'm just curious. No, we'll, we'll put a question mark on what, it, what the easement is. I, I know when we went there, uh, I think I asked you at the time whether there was going to be a tiered uh, parking area. Are they going to tier it? Are they going to remove material, soil, or uh, or bring material in? Again, I, uh, it's... And if you don't know, that's I fine. I don't have the... I, no, because it's still in the hands of the engineers. I haven't seen anything from them yet. Nothing will move forward beyond the removal of the three structures until you see a full site plan. Yeah. I understand. Okay. All right. I mean, I think um, um, Mr. Fellow and I went out there. I think you went out there, Carolyn. And, and um, the man, Allison. Allison came in right after you left, just okay. to let you know. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yep. So, we were um, playing. We were. <laughs> yes. So, in any event, um, yeah, I mean, I'm satisfied that there's. Um, there will no, not be any well impact uh, by the removal of these structures. So, okay. Um, any questions from the board? I mean, the, the one on the west yeah. side seems a little bit mm -hmm. closer. Yeah. Um, No. We could scale it out to the building. That I mean, th that is where those flags were. That's a frag mighty swamp in there, uh -huh. adjacent to the, the the parking area of the church, mm -hmm. and it does come in. It was actually a discharge. So this wetland has two discharge points, if you will. Some of the water it's divided will go down to Eddy Pond in a uh, eastern direction, and the rest of the divide can come in and through a pipe and then goes towards the pipe. Eventually all of it ends up in East, in uh, Eddie Pond, but there is a drainage divide in that location. Is there a reason why the silt fence gets so much narrower? It's still in the lawn, well, pr probably because it's near the building. In the, in the end, you will be keeping us to our 25 disturbance. We're not going over there with the machinery. I, As you might see that we kept 25 except for right at the wood line. If you want the, 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 the habeal line, like should I say the water line to stay outside the tree line for our purposes it can be revised in the east and uh, presently we're in the lawn over here you see the tree line yeah. he was he was just making a point to keep it 25 feet off uh, mm -hmm. in general throughout it but we have no issue with uh, clearly uh, we didn't want to put the silt fence line out there twice we we're going to call in s and farms to put it in and it was going to stay there for the duration. We would back it up in the end with a with a a a, a walk, another a silt fence line. Not so much a uh, I was going to say hay, but it would be straw. A yeah. straw bale line would eventually back this up with uh, the, the silt fence. But for our present purposes, because it's just the buildings closer to the road, we felt that the silt fence and trench would be sufficient. Yeah. But there was a case that we didn't want to have to move it twice. If you want it closer to the tree line. Where we do have the tree line on the plan, it can come closer in the center lot. It could run along the tree line and then cut across and again hit the tree line. And presently, as you can see on that lot you're, you have in question, it is within the lawn and it, the tree line is to our west. So I guess the one location where if you chose to, well, not the one, it's up to you, but between lots, the center lot and the lot to the west, we don't need to have it as close to the 25-foot uh, zone you could bring it closer to the uh, to where the lawn lines are. Okay. Yeah, I mean, shows. I'm less concerned about those areas, but it would well, still benefit it probably. In the end, if there was any type of um, waiver for the final design, mm -hmm. you would have to ask for it or else we're not going to be in your 25-foot zone. Right. So if that's a mm -hmm. question, presently it's, it is in the lawn right there. There's, a, there's actually a fence along that, the um, western property. As you might recall, I know I had a go around it. So that's a fence line right mm -hmm. now. I would have a revision on the plan if you choose uh, to, between the uh, center lot and the western lot. Where were those invasives? That the invasives were all in this area and, and it turns out that they are native to the United States. They're more a southern species down to Mississippi, Arkansas. They don't come this far north and I'm, I'm contacting Robert Burton to see if he's locate, seen them in Worcester County, but they are actually a U.S. species. It was a walk, devil's walking stick. Yeah. 
but What's more that? south. We talked about that. Yes, mm -hmm. and not so much Asian. I thought they possibly would have been from this country, but they're all in this, uh, yes, all this right. block from mm -hmm. the slope over to the wetland line in the general area of these wetland yeah, flags, the western yeah. or the southwestern mm -hmm. corner of the property. Would you like that uh, revision? Because it's not, we can give you a final plan if, if you choose to have a revised silt fence line on your cross there. It's much less disturbance. It would be, but in the, in the end, as, as you might be aware of, we're, we're going to heed your 25 foot zone. There might be work, that, I'm not saying there is, but there might be work out in this area because we are 25 feet away. Mm -hmm. but then again, there might be too much coverage also, and if the coverage exceeds what the town allows, mm -hmm. The line could mm -hmm. be further over to where the lawns are. Right. But that's getting yep. up to the engineer. Uh -huh. This would be just a trench work with S and M, and they're going to install it in the ground, and it's going to be there until at some time we have an NOI and final order conditions when we it went in if we do get that. I understand. Okay. I mean, I you know, I I just feel like less linear feet of it, but I don't want to mess it up if you're going to have to do it twice. Does that really make sense? It's um, it's a simple cost, you know, that the client's willing to incur. Whether it's less linear or the way that it designed, this is what the engineer came up with, and it was just late yesterday, so I didn't have him revise it. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah. So, it, it, if it's not a problem, we wouldn't go take any trees out to put that in. We'd, it might be jogging here and there, but clearly, there's not going to be any root systems that we're going to get into. Again, if you want a little bit closer, my my pleasure to run it straight across where this tree line comes together, and uh, it keeps us out of out of that back like wetland area. Corners. So you straighten it out. All right, I got it. I, I, oh, so you have aesthetic. Uh, no, I, I, no, <laughs> environmental. I just feel like you, you create these points where it collects, or you yeah. Know, I mean, if you have a straight line, it's sort of. Mm -hmm. We don't have water going in that direction, as you might know. This, this thing is actually, if we look at the topo, everything in the front is going to be coming towards oh, yeah. the right. You're right. It doesn't go up in that right. direction. There's, there's going to be no water. That's more for a, fi a visual barrier for the contractor. Yep. You, we don't see anything going in that direction because of, we're, we're kind of in a hole and then it kind of rises up. And there's a berm along the back of these lots, as you know, we've had to go up and then down. That's right. So, yeah. so yeah. nothing's going over there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's because we, we know you want an erosion control measure, we want to give you, mm -hmm. we want to put one on the plan. If it all it, kept going a, that way, there wouldn't be a wetland there. Some, it's got to, some of it's coming this way. It's actually discharging out of the it's hill. It's there's it's a ground it's actually but behind what's not shown on the plan. No, no, I see it. It's to the south. Mm -hmm. We're, we're at the crest of a drainage divide, even at the top of the hill, and there is, mm -hmm. from that top, there's groundwater discharge coming out, it feeding this well, and, mm -hmm. and also feeding the one over here. So at the height of the summer when it's dry, right. most things are dry, this is still wet, that Fragmite Swamp, and there's still groundwater coming out of the hill over here. Uh, it does quickly go on the ground because this is all dry, as we know from the diamond case. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, I brought the diamond plants in case there was any question about how they mesh, but in the end, we'll you'll the final plan you will see uh, both the diamond flags which are still good because we got an extension of the order mm -hmm. which will then tie into this flag which I have them right next to each other out in the field so okay. we're going to tie diamond into this site okay <clears throat> I mean I'm spe speaking only for myself I'm satisfied with the, the location of the sill fence um, I don't believe that the the, the swamp, that there's any intrusion from the swamp to the south of the three lots onto those properties. Um, but again, I mean, if, <clears throat> and if the board wants the, uh, the plan to be revised to, so there's an alteration of the establishment of the sill fence, that's something we can, we can discuss. Okay, I'm fine with it. So, so the next I'm question, <laughs> the next question would be, <laughs> are you all right with I'm it? I'm fine with it. Okay. There it is. Uh, I speak for myself, I am too. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what's your pleasure? I personally would like it straightened out, but that's just... Um, like, how, how are you looking at that, though? I'm trying to think of how you're going to do that, or how you're going to show it. Just like this. Oh, that's on this property. So right? Yeah, so that's on the property. Yeah, you know, just something, just to get... I don't know. For me, it seems odd to have... I have it. I, I think I have it. All the way I, down. But honestly, if I'm the only one who thinks that way, then I'm not, it's not a huge deal. I would, um, I'm going to pick it up and get rid of these, these knobs sticking these out. Knobs and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to come across. I, I'll use this line, yeah. uh, and I'll send it, I'll, I'll just photocopy that piece right over to the surveyor, 
They'll put it on the plan tomorrow. There'll be a straight line across here. Then we'll follow the tree line the rest of the way. Okay. okay. That's good. So the that section here and that, right? Then you'll have a revised date of tomorrow on it. I'm okay. sure so that it can so do it. So just be straight across. Okay. So I think that means we have to continue the hearing. Oh. For that one? <laughs> well, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm trying to decide. Right. Yeah. I know. Which, this is something you're trying to do soon. Yes, they were hoping to at least remove them before any more snow and frost gets in the ground, and right. then do the design work in the. It's and, possible. To right, and S and M can go. S and M can go out there tomorrow, actually, and put this in. Okay, right. All right. Well, why don't we do this? Yeah. How long will it take for you to get us a revised plan? T tomorrow, late day. And when can you get it? To Sh Sheila's not going to be here on Friday. I can I can email the revised plan over if you're looking for the okay. date. Okay. All right. Then why don't we do this? All right. Why don't we close a public hearing? Yeah. We're gonna make, well, you know, we're gonna make a ruling, and then I would suggest to you that the ruling will be uh, conditioned on you providing with the revised plan, showing the reestablishment of the sill fence. Yes. Uh, and getting it to us tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yep. I'll I'll call the surveyor right now. He'll love me. All right. <laughs> yes, I'm sure. It's still will. early. <laughs> All right. We'll we'll send it right over. I'll okay. I'll get this to him. I thank you for. In fact, I'll go to Staples. I'll copy it. I'll email. All right. Before we we we're not closed yet. Yep. Right. You don't care about this, right? I didn't think you did. No, he's here for seven. I understand. <laughs> um, is there a motion to close? I make a motion that we close the um, hearing on the side family LLC RDA for the demolition of the three family homes. Okay. Is there a second? I second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose the vote. All right. Thank you for your time and thank good you. holidays. Thank, thank you. Enjoy. Christmas. Thank you again. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, so thank you very much, Commissioner. Way too much on right now. That's why I put it on like I'm going to the rest of the site. For this site. I'm freezing to death. Freezing. I'm long drawn up. Thank you. Good night. Take care, Glenn. Oh, yeah. He'll get it right now. Thank you again. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. All right. I just had those, so I gave it to everyone. I know I did. I don't think I had them the night of the hearing. All right. I don't know why I was thinking today was going to be Tuesday night. Yeah. 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 I'm nearly done. I'm nearly done. Yeah. Good night. Have a good night. You'll cool off soon. I didn't hurt anybody with that. <clears throat> the next item on tonight's agenda is a 740 public hearing. Michael Satchel, a notice of intent for the construction of a single family home septic system and related site work on property located at 25 Pinrock Road. Is there a motion to open? I move to open. Is there a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed to vote? Aye. Good evening. Good evening. Frank Carey with Burton Engineering and your record for the project. Okay. Um, so, what I brought was actually has a revision date slightly newer than yours, and I apologize for that. We had some comments from uh, Board of Health, so we made some minor tweaks for Darlene's comments, but it's essentially the same layout. All right. I'll give you a quick history of the project, where we're at, and kind of what we're trying to accomplish here. Sure. Uh, so the project was started back in 2007, 2008. We started working for Mr. Satchel, um, developing a single-family house. Right. Um, it, the house is proposed at the rear of the lot. The lot's uh, looking at the end of Pinrock Road, on the south side of Pinrock Road. Okay. And in order to get to the upland area at the rear of the lot, he needed to cross some wetlands right. and build his house, and the septic system ended up being within buffer zones and needed to fill a wetland and replicate. And so there was an order of conditions issued back in 2014. Work was started. Um, the Basically, the gravel driveway got in, the wetland crossing was put in, the wetland replication was installed, the foundation got in, and the project got done. I think it was a financial thing, so it just, it, 
he's ready to move it forward. Um, he, I guess his site contractor was trying to pull the permit for the, from the Board of Health. The Board of Health said, well, you, we saw your plans, those are too old, they expired, so he resubmitted the plans, resubmitted the plans, they checked with all the other departments, and they said, hey, the water conditions had expired. So right. it expired a couple months ago, and he didn't realize it, and work was kind of ongoing, but not continuous the whole time, so there were some pauses in there. And, um, and the, the order of conditions expired with only part, part of the work being done. So the work left to be completed within the jurisdiction on the project is essentially the septic system and grading. The foundations are already in, the house is outside of the buffer zones. Um, majority of the work that's left that would be disturbing the site was, was getting the septic system in. And so we basically uh, resubmitted the plans that were approved prior. Um, like I said, we made some minor tweaks for the Board of Health. I think they wanted to see a benchmark on it and some labeling issues, but no real design changes. The design is as it was uh, approved back in 2014, okay. and we're requesting that you issue a new order of conditions so it can be finished out. Um, proposing so soap fence and hay bales along the limit of work, uh, limit of grading, essentially. Um, the septic system is outside the 50 feet, which is the Title V requirement that the septic be outside your 50 feet, and the house is outside the 100 foot buffer. Well, they, they have already uh, replaced all that. Yes. Only installed it. Yes. So the uh, the filling, crossing, mm -hmm. replication, that component is done. So really the work that we're asking this order of conditions to govern is the septic system installation, and then they're going to be traveling along the driveway. So uh, it's really to install the septic system and then finish out the, the grading of the lawn area. Okay. Yeah, we went out to the property when you uh, your client was served with the enforcement work. Yes. The house was substantially, um, uh, I don't know if it was complete, but it looked like it was pretty much done. Yeah, that's why he needs a septic so we can actually yeah. so, the, so the big hall where um, the yeah. septic is going to be going with the uh, stockpile material. Yeah. So, okay. Um, I don't have any questions. Does anyone have any questions? Was the original replication area looked at? It so was when the original notice yeah. of the was filed. Oh, yeah, this actually predates me, so I <coughs> yeah. not to submit with it, to be honest no, with you. No, <laughs> that's but no, the we, only replication area? Yes. Yes. Um, no, we had been out to the property when this was originally filed, and it was filed some time ago, to yeah. say the least. Like I say, I think initially... Or, 2008. Yeah, yeah. Was it started in eight, and the order condition was, the final order of conditions, the last one that just lapsed was issued in 2014. Right. So. Exactly. So there was an extension, and then the extension uh, lapsed. So... Okay, I have no uh, no questions. So we do have a DP file number and issued the file number for the project. So okay. that's a good thing because the last couple of meetings I went to, we didn't have file numbers yet, which is yeah. unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> so thankfully we did get one for this one with no comments from the DP as well as the letter notifications. Okay. Okay. Um, There are no questions. Can get copy. I can no, just no. get it off. I know. I saw it. I make a motion that we close the doors in the tent for the applicant Michael Satchel from Construction Center Family Home. Okay. Is there a second? I'll second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I showed them to you, right? Yeah, <laughs> they're all there, they're all there. Don't count them. Sorry, Andrew. I was just going to say. Thank you. Have a hang tough. Thanks. Thank you. Have a safe trip home. Happy holidays, everyone. You too. Thank you. So, we need to issue uh, two orders tonight. Yeah. Hey, knock it off. All right, so we have to go back to Eastland Patents because remember we just put that on hold. We did, we did. and um, it, I don't know if they were under the impression uh, that they did not have to attend, mm -hmm. but um, we do not act on, mm -hmm. um, you know, amendments or 
uh, matters before the board uh, unless the applicant is here. <coughs> My suggestion would be that we um, send them a letter, mm -hmm. tell them that we expected them to attend tonight's meeting, that they were scheduled for 7 p.m., that because they did not appear at 7 p.m. and did not appear as of uh, five minutes to eight, um, <clears throat> we could not act and, and did not act on their, uh, their request and that we would like them to appear at our next meeting on January 10th of 2018 at 720. 720. 720. 720. So it's someone's going to continue, right? Yes. So can I have a motion? Make a motion to continue the Eastland Park, Eastland Partners, uh, Blinker Street project for next January's meeting. Okay. At 720? Okay. 720. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? Second that. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed the vote. Okay. With respect to. Um, Massive Family LLC, the RDA, is there a motion? Um, I'll make a motion to uh, accept the RDA. Issue a negative determination of applicability? Negative Issue a negative determination of applicability. Provided that. Provided that they email us a revised copy of the site plan with the adjustment. So mm -hmm. that's okay, excellent. Is there a second? Very good. I'll second that. Is there a discussion? All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote? Very good. You got that, Sheila? Yes, I do. Okay. And then finally, last but not least, mm -hmm. with okay. respect to uh, Michael Satchel, the property at 25 Pinrock Road. Um, we can't just extend the other one because he let yeah. it lapse. Yeah. We yeah. have to do the whole thing again. Was it really? Oh, they've already done no. They've no, done everything. No, it was we months. <laughs> months. <laughs> Not a few days. days. No, it was it months. Just happen to uh, hold the water. Uh, so now they're here just asking the, a new order. <clears throat> were we worried about where the spell bottles were or how many there were? Or I mean, basically, what yeah, I don't even what happened is that the work that needed to be done it was under the old order of conditions was done, but it lapsed, and so um, <clears throat> there has to be an uh, there has to be um, an order of conditions in place until the work is completed, okay. and um, you know we probably should get an asphalt plan too. Okay. Just my mm -hmm. suggestion. Mm -hmm. so, I haven't seen the property, so okay. who's, who's seen you the property? You didn't come with us. Oh. That day? No, I did. Yeah. Tong and I. And yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway. <coughs> well, in that case, Carolyn. Yes. I'm going to Carolyn, give you, you get to no. do it. No. Woo -woo. Go ahead, Carolyn. I'm going to cheer you on. Come on. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, okay. I'll second it. <laughs> Someone has to do it. I oh, can't right. do it Someone because I'm the chairman. Conditions. Okay. Standard right. order and special conditions. Okay. Yeah, special I'd conditions. do it if I could. I can walk you through it. Okay. Okay. So, repeat, okay. a, re repeat after me. Repeat yeah. after you. Yeah. Well, not that Here, one. Here it is. Thank you. Okay. There it is. Okay. So, okay. someone needs to make a motion. Carolyn? I make a motion that we um, do the special order because, I'm sorry, order of conditions. Stand, standard order, order of conditions. Standard order of conditions and the following order. special conditions. Right. Special conditions. Okay. okay. Uh, one. Repeat after you. Okay. Um, two. Okay. Uh, three. Okay. Four. Uh, no. No. How about five? Five. Okay. Uh, yes. And six, no. 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 Uh, There's no rip No. No. How about eight? Eight. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's good. And, uh, no. Nine. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay still okay. Um, Eleven? Yes, nine. Okay. Eleven. Okay. And twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think thirteen applies. Thirteen, fourteen. No, fourteen is your. Yes. Really? Fourteen. What? Don't they have a big? Oh, sorry. Not so not a okay. okay. And fourteen. Okay. Uh, fourteen. Yes. Yes. Fourteen. Fourteen. Did you say fourteen? No. 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 Okay. Okay. So. So we have. Standard order plus. Yes. Standard one, order. One. Two. two. Three, yep. five, yep. eight, mm -hmm. nine, mm -hmm. eleven, and and that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Is there? Is there? I second. Okay. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed to vote. Okay. Good job.
And on that RDA, make sure it's you in, include the condition. Yep. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. to appear um, as long as they get get us the letter to mm -hmm. answer the DEP questions. Oh, okay. So we're holding up until that comes. Correct. Answer. We're not doing. We're not issuing okay. an order. And we have to wait till that. Okay. Means issue it. So we have to stay on the agenda. Inspect what they did for the Okay. Yeah, we went out there. So will we get another opportunity? Sure. If you want to go out there. I mean, it looked like they took taken care of the prop. They had gone in there. They had removed whatever material had uh, had gone into the well. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I know that street. Yeah. Remember when he came in? I said I was thinking about you last night. And the reason that I said that is because right after they were supposed to plant, right after those seeds went in. Oh, it rained like it crazy. Poured. And then that was the it. consultant that was knew. We, we talked about mm -hmm. it for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So he's definitely aware but of But my grass came in. In most of the areas, it looked like there was Micah, still a good Micah amount planted filled. right around the same time that his did. I will Micah say this, though. It wasn't time was in. It wasn't like I will say this to you. sand that was going to, you know. Was I will say this to you. If it doesn't take within two growing seasons, they're going to be right back here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I mean, we'll monitor address. it. Right. And if it, you know, uh, my sense is that they will comply, but if they don't comply, we can absolutely hit them with another enforcement order. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. just curious if, if that comes up. For What's this two-year thing for the plants? Basically, um, they tend to guarantee that they'll inspect them. Oh, for two years. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you, you expect that any replication or any, any planning that is done will take within two two years. Yeah. I think in part to accommodate, yeah. but to take into account that there may be adverse conditions initially. Yeah, and yeah, plants don't always you know. live. Yeah. So, so uh, did, did anyone do a site visit to 700 South Street? Say yeah, O'Reilly Street? Oh, right. that's yeah. going up like... Oh yes, yeah. we went. Yes, yeah. I'm sure. Yes, you did go uh, that way. And in fact, you know, um, it's the mm -hmm. O'Reilly's the cross of TJ. It's right on the wall. I took some. There are pictures. Did I think I took some them? pictures. Someone took pictures. It's going uh, up like crazy. Well, they, they oh. yeah, it's proceeding mm -hmm. um, well quickly. We but we looked and we walked because um, there's a wetland area right here. That's right. Like and, right there. Yeah, yeah. Right there. And I gotta tell you, there was no encroachment of the wetland. Right. The, the the site though, there were materials located on site that we thought were all sloppy. And so I did uh, actually send a, uh, an email to Bill Coyle, just you know, alerting him to uh, the fact that there were materials sort of on site that we thought should be removed. Yeah. So the question was not that they were. I don't know Bill did anything about that. Was, the, the question was whether or not there was encroachment in um, in the, the, the stream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when we were out the there, the excavator had a problem with what they were asking him to do. He didn't think it was right. Okay. So we went out there and the uh, and so we didn't see any disturbance of uh, okay. other well into the stream. Yeah. Okay. Good. But good for the excavator. I went there the first time. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's. So we may just want to check to see. Well, the, if neighbors the neighbors yes. were concerned. The neighbors were concerned when we went there the first time. But I will tell you, the building materials though are not really a well issue for us, because they were they weren't near the stream. They were basically mm -hmm. on Southbridge Street. Mm -hmm. Like, I think yes. there was some rebar and just... We should be able to just have they were front power overall for things. <laughs> yes, we should. It should work. Overall it doesn't work too. that way. Right. Overall, so that might be, that <laughs> sound like a certain someone I, I'm thinking it's of. The, yeah, it's related to the wetlands or anything I want power overall things. Well, wetlands related. 
Okay. I went on I'm one, sorry, 189 question. Washington Street. You've got the as built plan yes, there. Yes, I do, and I will that. take a look, a look so at it. So, do we want to schedule a site visit for that, or you want to do it yourself? Or 89 Washington uh, the, the next couple weekends are going to be um, uh, impossible. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Yeah. yeah. Um, possibly the weekend before our next meeting, which would okay. be the weekend of what? The start of January. Four, five, six. No, 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 no. Oh, no six, not no. the start. Six of January. That's the first, right? Then. It would be like the sixth or the seventh. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going to see the yeah. sixth and the thirteenth. Three. Three is a Wednesday. So my suggestion is if you have an opportunity to go out there rather than schedule something, because I okay. just think it's difficult. Where, All is right. it, where is it we're looking? 189 Washington. Which is on where? the agenda. Okay. Um, right here. Yeah, you can, you can Google it. Apparently, we issued order conditions back in 2005. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I don't remember. It's like going down the hill oh, on the right. From, I think it's before the end of this. Okay. Oh, down there, yeah. Okay, 189, I got it right before here. Before the mass pipe. Yeah, I'll take it right down there, sure. Okay. And 17 Hilltop Farm Road, too. Should I look at that? Um, <clears throat> we're waiting for an asphalt plan for that. Okay. Yeah. So, when I mentioned. As soon as I get it, I'll send it to everybody. Okay. So. Is there, any, is there any other business? Okay, is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed to vote. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.